bought this camper about a year ago and the awning was pretty bad shape but I, I figured it wouldn't be a too big a job to buy a new one and replace it myself but uh, after watching a bunch of videos on YouTube I didn't realize how much was involved they were using two three sometimes four people uh, having to drill out rivets and unwind a dangerous spring a couple people busted their knuckles on there uh, I was looking for a way to replace it by myself with minimum effort and I think I got away the distance from there down to the valance it was eight foot and they've got another tube here second tube or strip whatever you call it but in the videos you have to unwind the spring drill out the rivets take the spring out to get this out and put the new one in but there's a hole here for your pull down strap I don't know why they didn't uh, make them here but I thought about just drilling two holes and then grinding out the cap and then I would just have to remove this bracket and it's got two little screws they put in to keep your tarp from moving back and forth for your awning the awning I ordered comes with this strip sewn in to the awning and the valance but this one that is sewn in the new one isn't sewn so I'm only gonna have to drill one hole right here to slide this out and slide the new one in and the new one comes with a strip and a roller where you can just roll this down into the new awning so that'll help just one hole I'll just have to remove this bracket, drill the new hole, make it look like this one, and theoretically I can slide the old one out and slide the new one in. I'm going to take a measurement of this existing hole, try to get an idea about how deep center is from the edge of the cap to give me an idea where to start drilling here. My cheap grinder took a dump on me, so I'm gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. New awning came in, so I'm going to try to get it on today. Uh, you want to prop these rails up on something because I'm going to cut this old awning off to slide it out. I'm going to prop both sides up. I'm going to remove this screw. This is a number two square bit on my camper anyway. Then I'm going to remove this bracket, it's a 3 8 socket on, on this camper. There's another one of these screws on the other end that I'll have to take out.
I didn't have an extra hand to help me here. If you can get extra hand for this part, it'd make it go a lot quicker. I just pulled my old truck up here to help, kind of help one end off the ground so it won't drag on the rails so hard. We'll see how it goes. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was. The truck didn't help much. I had to just work one side at a time, little by little. I'm going to measure from the center of this bracket to the edge of the awning on both sides and get it centered up. I'm going to do the same thing down here. That way it'll roll up straight. Rolling this second strip in isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Plus it's really cold out. That might have something to do with it. So I'm going to go ahead and drill another hole right here. And use the roller to smash the awning down in and try to feed it in. My camera went dead on me yesterday evening. Uh, I got it done, I think if, on a nice sunny day. That thing will flatten out. It's in the mid 30s here. The only thing I'd do different, if I had anything to change, uh, I'd go ahead and drill that second hole like we did the first one. Uh, clean the strip grooves out, and spray them with WD-40 or something. I didn't do that. And if you could get a helper for a few minutes just to help you guide the ends of the awning in as you pull, that would help. And they could run the roller just in front of that strip as you push it in. That would help a lot. But it's possible to do it yourself. And if you have to place it again, it should be easy. 
Thanks for watching.